Hey Habitat fans, I just wanted to drop a little knowledge bomb on you here. I was just checking this food plot because I was in the neighborhood. And this is where we landed the logs on this job. And we did not plant that part of it. I left a patch here and it has sprung up in blackberry. And blackberry all over it. Looks really good. And that'll get like up to my eyeballs and make lots of soft mast and brows and cover. I have another one like that where we cleared some regrowth of clear cut. And it came up just like that with blackberry and cherry trees and things. A good idea would be to leave a band of that around the edge of your food plot if you have a new food plot. And that way you've got that soft edge cover plus browse. Might even get some rabbits in there, who knows. But uh, blackberry's good, man. Real good. Good to eat. Check out this clover, man. This is right up on top of a ridge in it. It's poor forest soils, but I still got pretty good growth of clover. This is this is going to be the second year on this clover, so it's working out pretty good. Needs a little shot of clethodim to get rid of this grass, so I'll have to get on that. There's some stilt grass down that way, but it uh, looks pretty good. I'm just going to check the tracks over by the water hole. There's a water hole over this way. I overseed this with um, some chicory earlier in March, so we'll probably end up seeing that this fall, I would guess. If it doesn't work out, we'll reseed it. But, uh, I located this water hole in a spot where there was a little bit of a spring run in here, so it kind of fills itself, keeps itself full, except for the worst drought periods like in the late summer not seeing a lot of tracks around it you often see tracks of course we had thunderstorms so there's plenty of water around a lot of moisture in the vegetation okay so that's about it a lot of grass in this food plot we're going to have to do some spraying. Gee whiz, there's so much water here, there's May apple growing. Hmm. You never know what you're going to get until you try it. All right, stay tuned because there's a lot going on. I'm going to make some videos about what we're doing on different client properties that you may be able to use on your own property and uh, have some great success next hunting season. All right, catch you later.